How do you be more persuasive in life? How do you persuade people to do what they want them to do? This is Raymond Duke, who's a copywriter, which means that he writes the copy that persuades people to buy, to actually pull out their credit card and buy a product or a service. How are you, Raymond? You good? good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to see you, man. So th great. three tips to be more persuasive. What's the first yeah. one? So three tips, okay. So I'm assuming that you're watching this because you want to be more persuasive. You want people to kind of listen to what you have to say, do what you want to do, be it uh, buy your product or buy your service, get you to you want them to watch your video. You want you want something from someone else, okay? So keeping that in mind, the first thing I would say is forget the fact that you want something from someone else and think more about what they want, what it is that they want, what it is that they are thinking, what it is that you could say or do to connect with that person. Everybody out there has their own motivations, their desires, the things that they want, the things that keep them uh, moving, the things that get them out of bed in the morning, the things that you know they work toward. And if you figure out what that is, then that's how you make a connection with the person. So I would say before you even try to figure out what you want from someone else, figure out what they want. And that'll put you in a good position where they'll be able to listen to you. Because if you were to approach somebody and figure out what they want and you approach them with that, then they're gonna be more likely to listen to you because you're speaking to what their needs are, yeah. what their desires are. Think that's about the, the other tip. person's interests, yeah. yeah. That's the first tip. Okay. Second one is be uh, to the point, be direct as possible. That's tip two. Always test being direct at first because people don't have a lot of time. People are very on the, they're on the move, they wanna go. And the more to the point you can get, as especially when you're approaching someone cold, someone who doesn't know who you are, they're not yeah. familiar with who you are and what you do, and just be direct and to the point. And then at that point, it might be like a numbers game. You might have multiple people that you're trying to persuade or get them to do what you wanna do. Um, be to the point, be direct, and then play it like a numbers game. And eventually, you're gonna have people who buy onto whatever it is that you're trying to get them to do, uh, listen to you, buy your product or your service. Okay. Okay, so that's tip number two. Yeah, be direct, yeah. Tip number three is uh, follow up. Always follow up, don't just make it a one done thing, because there could be something that just distracted that person. They could have been busy, they could have uh, right. got uh, sidetracked by something else, but especially by following up, you're not only showing that you still care, you're making that extra effort to uh, let someone know that you actually care enough to follow up with them. It's not just a one and done thing. Like, right. hey, this person's making an effort to follow up with me. That puts you ahead of someone else, and it makes them more likely to want to listen to you. So those are the three tips. The first one, just think about them. Take a genuine Put interest. Them yep. in their shoes. Yep. Be direct yep. and follow up. You do, those, you do those three things, and you're going to have a lot more success in getting someone to buy onto your idea doing what you want to do and also just three tips you can apply to everything and everything that you're doing in your life to not to even writing, selling a product or a program selling, but like courting a woman or yeah like, dating yeah you know speaking when you, know, you want to get featured on a presentation a seminar or someone's podcast yeah those are all those are some great tips that you can do all right that was raymond duke where can we find more about you raymond uh raymondduke.com that's r-a-y-m-o-n-d d-u-k-e as in like duke of hazard duke of earl uh, RaymondDuke.com is my website. Sweet, and then leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, cool. Raymond. Thank you. See you later. All right. Hey, I'm James Swanick. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to watch my next video, then click here. If you want to subscribe to this channel to get new videos, click here. And if you want to follow me on social media, like my Snapchat right here, you can see my Snap. Click on the links down there. Go on, do it now. I'll wait for you. Snapchat, Snapchat me, Snapchat.